How do you clean the muckety muck off the bottom of your shower floor? Ooh, yeah, that's a great question. And we're going to talk about that today. In the process, I'm going to share with you a product called Greased Lightning. And this is the super strength. And I'm going to tell you how it works. We're going to go over the safety data sheet. And then I'm going to show you in a shower how to clean the shower. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown. And this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, Grease Lightning has been used by professional house cleaners for years, and they swear by it because of the cleaning power. What is it? Well, it's a product that's been around since 1985 by a company called Home Care Labs in Lawrenceville, Georgia, United States. Now, this is their flagship product. It's been around, like I say, for 34 years, and they've moved into an entire array of degreaser products, even now in the automotive industry, because this works so well on things like car wheels. All right, now when you think of grease, what do you think of? Well, you think of outdoor tools like lawnmowers and tillers and hedgers and things like that where the gas gets out on the outside and dirt and grime and gunk build up on the outside. If you want to clean those tools, Grease Lightning is an amazing product for that. It's also great for outdoor patios. Let's say that you have a barbecue grill and you're out there cooking all kinds of nice poultry and meats and stuff like that, and you've got grease that pops out, and suddenly your barbecue grill is now icky, and the grill itself is icky. Okay, Grease Lightning does an amazing job. So it's great for barbecue pits, it's great for barbecue grills, patio furniture, it does wonders. All right, now if you come inside the house, it has an amazing array of uses inside the house. So in your kitchen, for example, let's say that you're cooking bacon and it splatters out on your backsplash. And so how do you get that off? The glazed tile and stone. Okay, well, Grease Lightning is your product. This is great for the top of the stove. It's great for cleaning out the inside of your oven. It's great for cleaning down the backsplash, not the cupboards. Okay, this is not designed for wood, but the glazed properties that you have, like the surfaces for the stove and the oven and stuff like that, it's great for. All right, let's take a look at the safety data sheet and see a little bit about what it is what it's made of, and how to protect ourselves when we use it. All right, we talked a little bit about the company that it came from, but what are the hazards? All right, the hazards are eyes, breathing through our nose, our skin, and then also ingesting it. So we want to be careful of those four things, All right? What's inside? Well, the main ingredient is 2-butoxyethanol, which is from the glycol ether family. Now, that is a relatively non-volatile inexpensive solvent of low toxicity, and it's used in many domestic and industrial products because of its properties as a surfactant. And then it's also partnered with a trade secret, which we don't know what the trade secret is, but what we do know is that it's a pH scale on the high end of the alkalinity scale with a 12 and a half to 13, which puts it in the family of bleaches and ammonias. So we want to treat this with ultimate chemical respect. Okay. Now, if for any reason there need to be first aid measures, what do you do? Well, if you get it inside your eyes, you want to rinse with water. If you get it on your skin, you want to rinse with water. If you breathe it and inhale it and the fumes start to bother you, you want to move to fresh air. And if for any reason you should ingest it, there is a number on the back side of the bottle, and that is for poison control. So you want to drink one to two glasses of water to dilute whatever it is you ingested then you want to call the poison control number that is on the back of the bottle. Now, fire hazards. There are no known explosive fire hazards connected with this product. But if for any reason your bathroom should catch on fire while you're using it or your kitchen or whatever, a regular household fire extinguisher should do the trick. All right, accidental spills. What happens if you spill it accidentally? Well, for a jug this size, you would flush it with water and then wipe it up. All right, the handling and storage. You want to keep it in its original container. This container is made of special plastic that's a little bit heavier than a regular plastic jug. And so because this is a strong chemical, we want to keep it inside this jug. Now, when it's empty, we want to rinse it out before we throw it in the disposal of recycling. All right, next is the exposure controls. How do we protect ourselves when using the product? All right, first and foremost for inhalation, we want to make sure that we have adequate ventilation. That means opening up the windows and turning on the overhead fan. We also want to use our personal protective equipment, which is in this case going to be a face mask. And then we want to use our protective eye equipment to protect us from having any splashes that reach our face. 
And then also for our skin, we want to use our disposable gloves. The physical and chemical properties. This is a clear liquid and it looks a lot like water and it has an odor of a lemon scent with a butyl fragrance. And the reactivity is this does not mix with anything. Okay, you can dilute it with water, but you do not mix this with anything. All right. The toxicological information is this is acute oral toxicity. And that's the trade secret 762. Ecological information. It is toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. Uh, disposal considerations. We talked about rinsing it out before you recycle it. And the transportation information. It is listed with the IATA and the IMDG as a corrosive liquid and it contains sodium hydroxide and it is not recommended to ship by air. All right, the regulatory information. According to OSHA, this material is hazardous under the criteria of the Federal OSHA Hazard Communication Standard as an acute health hazard. So we want to just take extra precaution when we're using this product. I don't want you to be scared of chemicals. I want you to be aware so that you then have choices. All right, now that we've taken a look at it, let's go give it a try and see exactly how it works. All right, for those of you that are listening to the podcast and you're in your car in rush hour traffic and you can't see what we're looking at, we're looking at our work smart, not hard tools for today's cleaning of the shower. What we have is a roll of paper towels. We have a regular handheld scrub -a brush. We have our two OXO deep cleaning brushes and we have our Grease Lightning Super Strength. These are the tools that we're going to use today to clean the muckety muck off the bottom of the shower floor. Moving to the shower, what we're looking at are the ridges and the edges around the fiberglass floor pan. This has mold that's starting to build up in the corners and crevices of the grout. Now it's not really nasty, I've seen so much worse, but this is a great opportunity to see how this works. So we've got a little bit of mold in the corners and we've got some black icky stuff in all the corners around where the floor pan meets the grout. And then the floor pan itself has a little bit of black icky stuff on it. And we're going to be able to scrub that out with the grease lightning. Now there's some stuff on the sides of the ceramic tile walls. There's some ickiness on the ridges and edges of the doors where the door seals. And then also there's some gunk that we're just going to clean out with our scrub brushes and our grease lightning. So we're going to see if we can do a really good job on this floor. All right, now wearing our personal protective equipment, we're going to ventilate the room so that we have proper air and adequate ventilation. We're going to go in the room right next door. We're going to open up all of the windows. This is a chance just to protect our breathing because we don't know how strong the smell is going to be. We want to be safe, not sorry. We're going to turn on the overhead air fan. Another safety precaution Grease Lightning has provided us with is a safety screw cap on the top of the nozzle. This allows us to turn it from off to spray before using it. Then to protect our flooring, we're going to remove the floor mat that's in the bathroom next to the shower. This way, if we spill anything or it leaks off of the glass, it won't leak on to the floor mat and we won't have to replace that for the customer. All right, now we're going to spray the Grease Lightning in all of the corners. We're going to spray it on top of all of the things that look like mold or mildew. We're going to spray it around the ridges and the edges of where the shower door meets the shower and all of the seals. We're going to spray it on the glass itself of the shower door, the shower pan that has icky black marks and gunk. I don't know if this is from hair dye or if this is mold or what exactly this is, but we're going to spray this degreaser on there and see if this will eliminate some of that or if it will help break it up. We're going to again spray the corners and all around the edges of the outside where the fiberglass floor pan meets the grout and the tile. Now using our OXO deep clean brush, we're going to scrub all of the edges of the doors and the door rim and wherever there's any ickiness that has built up. And we're going to scrub the grout lines and look, you can watch that just coming right off after we've soaked this for just a couple of minutes. Now we're using a regular handheld brush and we're going to scrub the floor pan itself to lift up any of those dark marks and you see that it has come right up. Now we still have to rinse it down, but at first glance this looks like it's doing a really great job. 
Now it is requiring a little bit of elbow grease and on a scale of one to 10, one being easy and 10 being the most elbow grease, this is probably about a four or a five. We're using some adequate work here to, to really work this in and to get the mold and mildew up. But this is in the grout lines and the shower itself. Now we're gonna rinse it down with water using the handheld shower head on a hose. And we're just gonna move around carefully here so that we don't get wet in the shower. But we're gonna spray that down. And then we're gonna wipe it down just with a paper towel. We're gonna to wipe down the doors and the glass. And we're gonna take special care to go around the edges where a lot of times there's buildup. Like if you use a squeegee, for example, there will be a buildup around the edges and the floor. So we're just gonna wipe that down with a paper towel because we've already loosened it with the grease lightning. All right now, this is an overview of the finished product, how clean and shiny this is. And we're actually looking at this through the closed shower door. You can see how clean the grout came and how clean the floor pan came. And if you go into the corners, that came out just like magic. You can't even tell there was mold there. Moving all the way across the shower, let's take a look in the corner. Boom! This is amazing. It's like greased magic. So this is greased lightning in work for you. Doesn't that look amazing? Alrighty, now that we've had a chance to take a look at greased lightning super strength, does it do what it says it's supposed to do? Well, it is a degreaser, so yes, it does. Now, does it remove mold and mildew? Yes, it does. Does it have the safety warnings and the information you need on the back of the label? Yes, it does. I'm gonna give Grease Lightning Super Strength the Savvy Cleaner seal of approval. Now, have you used it? I wanna know, and I wanna know what you've used it on and what your best uses for it are. Let's start a conversation in the notes below. And if you found this tip helpful, please pass it on to a friend. Who knows, maybe you'll help someone else. And until we meet again, Leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.